hi, it's Mary at the Paper Turtle. <clears throat> Welcome. I um, am so excited about this video today. I don't even know where to start talking. Um, I am starting something new. Well, it's not like a whole new concept or anything. It's just something new for my channel. And I really hope that you, my viewers, will participate because... Um, there's a couple of ways for you to be involved in these videos. What I'm going to do, I'm going to jump right in and start explaining this to you. Um, I am going to be working with prompts. Now, that's not a new concept, obviously, and I have worked with prompts before, but I'm going to put a little twist on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you, my viewers, for the prompt. I want you to put in the comments below some prompts for me to use and I'm going to throw them all in a jar and I'm going to pick from the jar. Um, they can be anything. They can be a color. They can be a technique like, I don't know, uh, inking or um, I don't know. What are some other techniques? Um, paper tearing that's not really a big technique I don't know you think of them because <laughs> I can't um, it can be tools you could have me use a uh, crocodile or punches or you know tools like that if I don't have the tool I'll compromise um, it can be a theme it can be like something like butterflies, mushrooms, bees, you name it. Um, it can be just a color. It can be, I don't know, just use your imagination and come up with some prompts for me. But here's the twist. I want your prompts to start with your initials. It can be your first name, your middle name, your last name, your nickname. I don't care. Um, come up with prompts that start with your initials. Put them in the comments below. I'll add them to my jar and I will draw from that jar to make my creation. Now what I'm going to do, at first I thought I would just kind of create off the fly, but I'm not going to do that because that that does not um, result in very good items for me. Um, it's better if I plan it out. So. I will, like at the end of this video, I will draw my next prompts and prepare for the next video. So what that does is that allows you also to participate. So when I draw my prompts, you can prepare your thing and you can come and you can craft along with me and we'll work on the same prompts. They won't be the same project, but they'll be the same prompts. Or you can wait until I put the video out and craft along with me and do what I'm doing. That's up to you, however you want to do it. Make it a challenge for you. So there's two ways for you to participate. Give me some prompts and craft along with me. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Hear me out. Let me finish this video before you click off because I think it's going to be fun. I really do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the dice and whatever number comes up, that's how many prompts I'm going to pull from the jar. Um, I'm going to do that at the end of the video though. I'm not going to do it yet. I have thrown in a few prompts. I don't have very many um, using my own initials and I've already drawn three prompts out for today's um, project. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I hope I explained everything. I hope I didn't leave every, anything off. If you have any questions, of course, let me know. But basically, your job is to give me some prompts in the comments, starting with your initials. Um, craft along with me if you want. And of course, the usual comment, subscribe, like my video. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get started, and um, the prompts that I drew, let me move these things out of the way. 
the prompts that I drew to work on in this video, I'm going to try to put one of these out once a week. I'm not promising. You know how I am. I can't promise that, but I'm going to try just to be consistent and give you something to look forward to. Um, the three prompts I drew for this week are envelope, wax, and magazine. Now, when I drew these prompts out, actually when I put the prompt envelope in, <laughs> I did have something in mind because um, I recently saw Natasha at Treasure Books making um, stacked envelopes. So when I put the envelope in the jar, that's what I thought of. So I was excited when I drew it out that I actually get to do it. I mean, I, I would do it anyway, but I get to do it for this. Um, so that was half my planning done for me. I, I liked that. So what I'm doing um, is I'm, I did a practice one and making stacked envelopes. And if you want to see how Natasha Treasure Books did it, you can go check her channel out. Um, I saw her do it and I was like, yes, that's something, that's me. That's something I want to do. So here I am. <clears throat> Oh, excuse my voice. So you just basically stack envelopes. And what you end up with is you have a pocket here. I have a pocket here, a pocket here. And these are all attached. I have some writing space here. Pocket here. A pocket up here, pocket here, and the envelope here. I didn't fill all of these envelopes and pockets just because this is just for my own um, book. So I don't need to have all the extras put in here. But um, <clears throat> yeah, that's so that's how my my uh, practice one came out. And I really, really like it. And it was so much fun to do. It took me quite a while to do it, but um, it was just the first one. Second one won't take me as long because, well, I've done it already. My, another thing with this challenge that I'm trying to do, when I make these items, I need to make them so that they go with one of the journals that I have in progress. I have so many journals going and I hardly ever work in them. And I want to do that. I don't want to make something that isn't for something specific and that ends up in the basket and I never use it. My projects are going to be specifically for books that I'm working on. So, um, you know, I don't know if you have that same problem where you make things and you don't have any place to put them. And, but then you've got books that you're working on that you haven't worked on. I do that. I don't know why, but hopefully this will help me solve that problem. So let's get started on this today's project. I've picked out some envelopes and move that. And this is how I'm going to stack them. Now I did do a little bit of prep work. I inked all my envelopes because that's very time consuming and nobody wants to see that on camera. Who cares? Um, so I've inked my envelopes and they're all ready to go. I have four. Now I have five. And I forgot to ink that one. That's okay. But I have four that I'm going to stack. You can use any number that you want if you're doing this along with me. If you're doing this for the first time. I'll just kind of give you some little tips and ideas as we go along. But it's not technically a tutorial. This is a craft along. So I've got four envelopes that I'm going to use for this project. And um, basically, the way that, that Natasha showed me how to do it is you put them in place where you want them. And I've thought a little bit about this, so I'm going to do it like this, a little bit offset from each other. And then my top one is going to be tilted a little bit like that. And I like that look. Now, one thing you have to be careful of is that your corners of 
Can you see? I look at this, what I can do. Ta-da. <laughs> That's something I figured out on my phone. Uh, I, it's taken me like forever to figure out the little tick tricks of my phone, but I'm getting there. <laughs> anyway, um, when you stack your envelopes, be careful that the corners of your envelopes don't go above the envelope below it. Like you don't want it up like that because when you turn it up, it's going to be in the way. So you want to make sure that you're below the top line of each of your envelopes so that you're more, see how you're below, you're not going above each envelope. So you get them stacked the way that you want them. And then just kind of, do you like my, my uh, glue pin? Isn't that pretty? I got this at um, our local craft store, Betty's Creative Studio. Um, somebody, I don't know if it was Betty herself or somebody else, maybe somebody that works there made a bunch of these. And also pokey tools. Look at the pokey tool, isn't that pretty? So I got those there. Okay, so when you glue, like your flap is going to be what you're going to lift up. So you don't want to glue below your flap. So you just kind of, um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, there was something I wanted to do. Um, let me think about it for just a second. Wanted to make one of these a pocket. And, and okay, never mind, I'll do it after. I think I know what I'm doing. Let me set my envelopes back up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So you just glue like where you can see. Did I have glue on there? Did my pin not work very well? So you glue where you can, where you can see that it's going to lay down and then just set your, that was probably too much glue. Set your thing on there and then you can, we'll, we'll go back and finish gluing the rest of it after. So these are just to kind of set it in place a little bit. All right, so everything is in place. Let me come back out a little bit here. And then we're gonna go back over it and make sure that we are glued every, everywhere we need to be. Now, one thing that she said, when I say she, I mean <laughs> Natasha Treasure Books, because I'm, I'm taking from her, is not to glue like the very edges of um, your envelope like here because when you put things in the envelopes it's going to puff out a little bit and you want to have a little bit of give there so like don't go all the way to the edge Okay, I think they're sufficiently glued down. Put a little bit more on this one. So they're all in place. And basically your structure is done. Now it's just a matter of decorating the way that you want. There. 
This I'm going to put here, but I'm not going to do that yet. We'll get back to that one. Okay. So my other um, things, I had envelopes. So this is the envelopes. I have magazine and I had wax. Um, another reason I was so excited about this is because this project that I'm doing is going into my love letters journal which I have mentioned in previous videos. Um, if you haven't seen those videos, well, you're missing out. <laughs> uh, but this is my love letters journal. And um, I'm making this project to go into this journal. I'm so excited to work on this. I haven't done anything yet with it, but I'm going to. And that journal is for this bundle of letters that I have acquired. Um, they were all written, and, and I've shown you these before, so I won't go into a whole lot of detail about them again, but I just want to, for those of you who didn't see my previous videos, um, I have these bundles of letters. Aren't they wonderful? They date from 1905 up to um, the 1940s. They are all written to the same person. Um, and they tell her story. I mean, they're, they're from both her boyfriend who becomes her husband. Um, they're from her family members. They're from her children as time goes on. Um, there's letters from her son who's in the military. There's letters from, there's a letter from her brother, um, expressing his sorrow for the loss of her husband. It tells her whole story in these letters. And these are only the letters that I've acquired. There's more letters out there that the person I got these from have sent to other people. Oh, I would love to have had them all, but that would have been a lot of letters, but I'm going to take these letters and I'm going to use them as a base for this love letters journal that I'm doing. So some of the things in the letters are really very um, telling of the time period and the letter I'm using in here, it's going to be put into this envelope here. Um, but this letter, this didn't come in an envelope. A lot of the envelopes are torn. Somebody went through and tore all the stamps off of them. So the envelopes are not whole. I can recreate them though, but this one didn't have an envelope. So this one is dated March 11th, 1912. And it is from her cousin. It's a wonderful letter. Um, and there's a part in the letter, uh, let's see, if I can find it now. Here. I must thank you very much for that pretty apron you made for me. I like it very much. It is lots of work too. Do you get a little magazine by the name Needlecraft? I get that every month, and I thought maybe you would like it too, so I told them to send it to you. Do you get it? That passage, when I first, the very first time that I read this letter, that passage, I knew that I needed to use this letter with my Needlecraft magazines. Do you believe it? Um, this this one is 1920, so it's a little after the date of the letter. But then I have one that is 1914, which is dated two years or a year before the letter. Either way, they're still in the same time period. So I think um, either of them will be suitable to use in this project in conjunction with the letter. So this is going to be, for my magazine prompt, it's going to be the needle craft. It's all falling into place. The letters, the magazine, everything. It's just wonderful. 
so that's what I'm doing. So now I have to decorate, and I didn't have not planned this out fully because um, I don't know. It was it's overwhelming sometimes to get started on things, you know. So here we have this little portion of this first envelope. I personally don't like the old glue on these. Some people like that look, and if you like that look, hey, leave it. It's fine. I personally don't care for that look, so I want to cover this flap. And that would work. I'm trying to see if there's any words on here that might I might like, but it doesn't it's not going to matter. So I think even if I use this paper has a fold in it right here. Yeah, I can still use that. Okay. Let me think of how I'm going to do this. This has to be I have to measure it. All right, this I want on the tip. Okay. So I, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just laying my envelope top down on here. And I'm tracing it. And then I'm just going to cut it out and then I can just glue it on there. Scissors, Mary. Before I actually glue these down, I want to pick out some of the other things for the other envelopes because I want to make sure that everything's going to flow and match and look nice. This is crooked, but <laughs> I'll fix it. I'm just folding it at the line where I want to cut it. I think I'd like to tear it if it will tear because it'll just give me a I don't know sometimes when I use scissors it's too choppy you know what I mean excuse me I have to reach I know you couldn't see me reaching but it puts my face like right onto my camera <laughs> So on my videos, you may notice, or you maybe you will in the future notice some some changes. Um, my son is going to help me out with the videos and making like the thumbnails and the the what do they call them? The title, like the title page or whatever it's called, um, and just kind of jazzing my stuff up a little bit for me because I'm not that didn't. That didn't work. I need it just a tad, tad, tad smaller. I'm not very uh, good at all that kind of stuff. And that's what he likes to do. So he's going to work on that a little bit for me. He, if you, I don't know if you noticed on, uh, I know I said I like tearing, but I, I only need this tiny sliver. Oh, it's too small. And I can't tear that small of a sliver. So anyway, so if you see some improvements on my channel, 
That is thanks to my son. I don't like how this is coming out. Why isn't this working for me? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I get whiny sometimes. <laughs> do you do that? Do you whine when you when things don't go your way? <laughs> I'm not getting enough cut off here. And I'm afraid to cut off too much. Oh, Mary, you can do this. Come on. This is not rocket science. Now it's too much, but that's all right. We're going to go with it. Um, let's see. You know, I told my son, I said, well, you know, I don't really care if make money off of this this isn't it's really not not that big a deal I'm just having fun doing it and he's like yeah but while you're doing it you might as well make some money off of it and I'm like well yeah if I can but so he's like so let me let me do some things and I'm like okay do some things go ahead do some things we'll see Okay, so that's going to maybe go there, right? Okay, um, then this one, I think I was going to, was it that one or this one? Uh-oh, we're glued down. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I'm going to have to do something. Oh, oh, Mary. I'll put washi tape or something. Lace, something. Lace would look cute there. Lace, let's see. Oh, yes. Look how cute that looks. I'm going to put lace there. But then how am I going to... Let me see if this is going to work. Yeah, and then I can put something over that to cover the, the seam there. I have to do a... Um, I have to do, I have to use wax. Did I show you what I was using for my wax? I don't think I did. Um, I have these wax seals that somebody sent me a while back. And I thought this might be a good place to use one of these wax seals. I could have made my own, but I have, I, I've only ventured into that one time and it didn't work out that well so I have these and I thought one of these would look nice I like this one oh look how pretty that's what we're doing there I'm gonna wait and do this last though because it's bumpy so that's what we're gonna do there up here I thought about putting doing a pocket, but this paper isn't wide enough unless I go this way. Do you think, would that be too much? Like, you know, with the lace and the pocket and the, and this, is that too much for one page? I don't think so. I'm going to try it anyway. All right, so I need this to be, uh, let's see, it's got to come down. I want it to come down to, to the end of the envelope here. So let's say two and a half.
by five. Yes, that'll that'll work, right? Yeah, okay. Let me go ahead and put that on. Well, wait, I was going to try to just put everything in place and then see how it looks. I could still make that a pocket. No, it's but that doesn't go there. Where does this go? <laughs> that goes there. I skipped this one. Okay. This is going to go there. These are going to go here. Right? I need something here, and I was going to do another little pocket with this one. Like that. Yep. Okay. So that one's got to be... Let's say two and a quarter by four and a quarter. This one's a little slanted, so, but I think it's going to fit just right. Yep, that's going to work. Okay. Ugh. I knew that was going to do that, because this paper is thin, and I did it anyway. I had a piece under here that I used... I don't know why I did it anyway, knowing it was going to be too thin. So, just for those of you that may not see what I did, I punched and it didn't go all the way through. Now I could just cut it, but I'm not very good at that and it always ends up jagged and not looking good. So what I'm doing is I'm just backing it with another piece of scrap paper to make it thicker. And then it will go through the punch just fine and I'll just have to make the notch just a tiny bit bigger than the first punch and it still didn't go through look at that you stubborn little thing maybe my punch is dull I'll have to try that old uh, aluminum foil trick I don't know if that really works I've never actually tried it in all the years that I've been using punches I've never felt that I needed to do that but maybe I do. This punch is nice and sharp. It likes, it doesn't mind the thin paper. So basically, once you have your envelopes stacked and glued down, it's just a matter of you know, having fun with it and decorating it and making it look the way you want. You don't have to do pockets like this, like what I'm doing, but you can do other things. Um, it's it, it really is, there's endless possibilities of what you can do. So just kind of have fun. Now, I would love to see what you do. If you're going to follow the prompts along with me, I'd like to see what you do with them. Um, I've been trying to think of how we could share that. And the only thing I can think of is Instagram. So if you want to share your um, creations on Instagram, 
I think all you have to do is um, probably you have to follow me um, and then I'll follow you and you can tag me um, on your Instagram post and then I can go and see your creations I would like that so if, if you want to do that that'd be a fun way of us all I think if we're all like following each other um i think we can see the tags right i'm not sure i don't i'm not a big instagram user um i've tried <clears throat> sometimes i just don't see the point of it <laughs> but if i had a reason to like this then i'll i would be more active in it so um, maybe I'll, once I post this video, then I'll go ahead and post the picture of this finished product on Instagram. And that way you can, uh, we'll get started with that and you'll be able to go on and see this one. Uh, why isn't this straight? That's better. Oh, that's a little crooked, but, you know, we all are, aren't we? <laughs> I know I am. Um, I'm just a little crooked. Okay, so we have that one. That one. This is going to be this one, right? Oh, that's so pretty. All right, let me see if I can punch this one correctly. That's better. This is toilet right there. <laughs> I was putting, using some book paper the other day on something. I forget what it was. And there was some word that showed up like very promptly on the finished product that was, I forget what the word was. It had nothing to do with the the uh, the item that I was making or the theme that I was using or anything, and I was just like, "Oh, Mary, well, you got to do something with that." And I I think I did end up covering it, but I was it was like, "That's that doesn't work." <laughs> Now on my um my first one that I did this has a square envelope thing which it, to me is easier to work with than these the triangle ones but I didn't even think about that picking my envelopes and on one of these it must be this one yeah I didn't make the pocket quite tall enough and I don't know if you can see it, but a little tiny bit of the triangular part of the flap is sticking up there. I don't really mind because um, I'm putting stuff in there anyway, and it's just a teeny spot, and who's going to see it anyway? Um, but it made me like, it's making me conscientious this time of making sure that I'm up above that little triangle. It's not a big deal if you're not. And again, maybe you like it there. You know, maybe it's just some little thing peeking out that looks cute. That's fine. So when I make things like this, I kind of in my mind have this little process. And I, I guess it's probably normal um, where I make the base um, first of whatever it is. And then I do any, uh, covering of things like, well, like this, like the, the, um, 
the flaps of the envelopes or, you know, whatever it is that you want to make look prettier. And then the last thing that I do is the, like the details or the focal points, I guess. And I don't, is that a normal way of doing crafty things? <laughs> it probably is, but um, it's just kind of my thought process of how I do it. All right, now I need to stick this in here. Put these on. That is not enough. All right, what are these little things here? What is this? Oh, it's, oh darn it, it's the paper from the... This lace is so pretty on here. If you can hear my husband talking to the cat out there. <laughs> my cats get so silly sometimes. Okay, that's going to hopefully not stick everything up here. It doesn't take too long for that glue to dry, but... Oh, look how pretty. And then that will be there. Oh, I like it. Do you like it? What do you think? I like that. Again, I want to wait to do that. I need a piece of wax paper. Um, hold on. Okay, and then this one, I have this. I hate to cover all this up, but I don't like this. I could put like a strip so that it's kind of like washi tape. Would that be too difficult for me to do? It shouldn't be. <laughs> um, yeah, I like that. So, I also wanted to cover this up though. Well, I can put something there. I can find something to put there. Oh, you know what I need to do? Let's say four inches. Uh, about a half an inch. You know what I need to do? I need to um, use the magazine. Or am I going to use that? I was so excited about it. I'm going to do a little bit more than a half an inch. Um, let me think now. There was something in the magazine that I remember seeing that I wanted to put in. What was it? Let me, I'll grab the magazine and take a look at it.
If I do this, will that kind of miter the corner? I think it will. Kind of, sort of. It's not bad. I might put a little something there. Eh, I'm not sure about this. Not quite sure. Let me instead, before I commit to that, a look in the magazine. I think it was in this one. I picked these up at the flea market one day. And, um... I paid, I think, less than a dollar for each one, or maybe a dollar for each one. <clears throat> and I told the guy, I says, this one's all, oh, you can't see it. This one's all chewed up on the bottom. Can you give me a better deal? And I think he was initially charging like $2 each. And I said, well, I don't know, a dollar? And he's like, okay, fine. <laughs> but it's like, you're selling something that's like all chewed up. All right, so there was this this letter here. But I don't know if I want to put this in here. I may use this for something else. It's a little letter to the editor um, from like a, an 11-year-old with a tip um, about tatting. Um, in the letter, she's she calls it fancy work. And I think in this letter... She refers to doing fancy work. Let me see. Uh, she talks about a farm that's available. It was in this one that she talked about fancy work. Now I don't see it. Maybe it was a different letter. Anyway, um, this letter to the editor talks about fancy work, and she says, My mother is a subscriber to Needlecraft, so I am writing. Perhaps I can help someone. I find that when making tatting a common pin with the end bent in the shape of a fine crochet hook is a good thing to pull the threads through with when joining the peacats together. A bent pin is something that anybody can have. Um, I just thought that this was really cool and I have some tatting and I thought I would put this with some tatting. But I don't know. I don't know if it's going to go quite with this letter. So I need something. There's these these pieces here, and I'm wondering if I put. Uh, now I don't know if I'm going to like that look on here. This is almost too clean for this, but I need to use a magazine, so I have to come up with something. Look at these. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at those. But they're not going to go with this project either, so. Then there was an ad or something that I saw, I think. In one of these maybe not this one because it's torn but that I thought was would work really well here's a um, an ad right here given to every woman needle crafts embroidery set I don't know if that will fit I'm 
not really. Hmm. I should have picked this out already. I did look through here and uh, look at those images. So pretty. I'm going to use those for something. I don't know what. Alright. Nothing in that. Oh, now I'm not going to be able to find what I'm looking for. you think what am I gonna do here I love this cover it's so cool but what do you do with that it's so big I thought about wanting to put needle craft on there somewhere but again it's so big um, I do have it at the top of the pages You know, I could like something like that, but it, that's kind of plain. I don't know. Here's some tatting that could go with the uh, that little girl's letter to the editor thing. That'll be another project, I think. I need something from the magazine for here. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, this is kind of cool. Could that go in there somewhere? Maybe I could. Here, let me cut it out. Is there anything on the other side? No. Okay. Let me see what I can do with this. I thought I had some more of these magazines, but I could only find these. So I might have used up the other ones. Or I could have sent them to somebody, I don't know. Oh, this video is probably super long, and I'm sorry. I haven't, I'm not timing it because I just figured I'd get on here and do this. <laughs> I think I might have to end it. But you kind of got the idea, right? And I actually did the project. See, I want to put this little envelope on here too. I think this has enough on it. I mean, I could put that, make that like a journaling card and just stick it in something. Or I could do, oh, that's pretty. What about that? Kind of covers up that paper, but paper wasn't really anything too special. Kind of like it. And maybe I can put some trim on there. Yeah, 
स्वतः Put it there. Let me cut it. Play with it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do because this video is getting like a little bit long. I'm going to stop and I'm going to, you kind of get the idea, right? I'm not stopping completely because I have to come back. I'm going to come back in a minute and um, I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to come back and show you my finished product and do the drawing. Okay, so... Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. <laughs> 